So when exactly did you swipe my makeup? While you were at Bone League. You don't have a key to this house. How'd you get in? Can't tell you that. I'm gonna need to do it again. Unbelievable. And for future reference, go lighter on the blush. You'll end up looking like Raggedy Ann. She got Raggedy Andy looking like that. He's her brother. Oh, I've been playing with those dolls all wrong. All right. That'll do it. How old was mom when you let her wear makeup? I don't know. I don't really have rules like that. See, how come you're so cool and she's such a dud? Well, I wouldn't call her a dud. What would you call her? Point is, she wasn't always like that. What was she like? When she was a teenager, she was just wild. Really? Oh, yeah. She used to wait until I went to sleep, and then she would sneak out and get into trouble with her friends. My mom. Your mom. And then she would climb up the tree on the side of the house and sneak back in. Amazing. Is that how you're getting in? I will never tell you that. Everything okay? I'm getting tired of being the bad guy around here. You're not the bad guy. Kids need boundaries. That is easy for you to say. I am the only one doing it, and then everyone resents me for it. Hey, you're not the only one. Just today, Georgie and Sheldon were fighting. I totally took care of it. Really? What was going on? They, you know, boy stuff. I, don't worry. I got your back. Thank you. That means a lot. Teamwork, babe. Look right here. That's my mom? <laughs> yep. The little queen of darkness. Is she smoking a cigarette? Yep. Probably stole it from me. Why did she stop being cool? Well, first of all, smoking is not cool. You do it? Yeah, well, next time I'm hocking up some black goo out of my lung, I'll call you over and you can see how cool it is. Awesome. It is not awesome. And as far as your mom, I think things started to turn around for her when she gave birth to you. You mean me and Sheldon? No, I mean you. I mean, Sheldon was born fine, but you were a different story. Why? Okay. Well, there was a point where the doctors didn't know if you were going to make it. And your mom got so scared, and she made a promise to God that if you were okay, that she would start reading the Bible, going to church, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm the reason she's a dud? Your takeaway should be that you are the reason she's such a good mom, which she is. And the next time you hurt her feelings, which you will, you might remember how much you mean to her. Now I feel bad. Good. <laughs>